Three council diplomats said Ireland, which drafted a statement, decided not to push for approval after objections from the three countries. The press statement will have been the first by the UN's most powerful body on the Tigray crisis, which is entering its fourth month. Fierce fighting reportedly continues between Ethiopian and Allied forces and those supporting the now fugitive Tigray leaders who once dominated Ethiopia's government. An alarm is growing over the fate of Tigray's 6 million people. No one knows how many thousands of civilians have been killed. On Tuesday, United Nations humanitarian chief Mark Lokok warned that a campaign of destruction is taking place, saying at least 4.5 million people need assistance and demanding that forces from neighboring Eritrea accused of committing atrocities in Tigray leave Ethiopia. The proposed statement made no mention of foreign forces or sanctions. Two key issues, but it called for an end to violence in Tigray. The draft statement also noted with concern the humanitarian situation in Tigray where millions of people remain in need of humanitarian assistance and the challenge of access for aid workers. It called for the full and early implementation of the Ethiopian government's statement on February 26 and March 3rd, committing a medical clinic that was looted and vandalized in Zana is seen in Tigray region of Northern Ethiopia on Tuesday, February 9, 2021. The United Nations, in its latest humanitarian report on the situation in Tigray, says the humanitarian situation continues to deteriorate as fighting intensifies across the northern region. Council diplomats speaking on condition of anonymity because consultations were private said China wanted the statements to focus only on the humanitarian situation with no reference to the violence in Tigray. India only wanted a minor change and Russia reportedly supported its ally China at the last minute, the diplomat said. Account of a massacre of several hundred people by Eritrean soldiers in the holy city of Axum in Tigray have been detailed in reports by the Associated Press and then by Amnesty International. Federal governments and regional officials in Tigray both believe that each other's governments are illegitimate after election disrupted by COVID-19 pandemic. Human Rights Watch echoed the report on Friday, saying Eritrea armed forces massacre scores of civilians, including children, as young as 13. In the historic town of Axum in Tigray, in November 2020, it called on the United Nations to urgently establish an independent inquiry into war crimes and possible crimes against humanity in Tigray.